Good morning, students. In this video, we will discuss about second type of stem modifications. They are subaerial stem modifications. Subaerial stem. Subaerial stem means in some cases, half of the stem grow below the soil and half of the stem grow above the soil. So such type of stems also get modified to perform various new functions or they adopt changes in environment. Such modifications are called subaerial stem modifications. And subaerial stem modifications are usually there are four types: runners, stolons, suckers, and offsets. So these are the four types of subaerial stem modifications and all these modifications they all these uh, subaerial stem modifications they take part in vegetative propagation all types of subaerial stem modifications are involved in vegetative propagation vegetative propagation means the vegetative organs of the plant body directly involved in the formation of new plants and this propagation is called vegetative propagation now we will discuss all the subaerial stem modifications one by one the first one of subaerial stem modification is runners runners what are runners runners are horizontal green and they are prostate or special branches usually develops from auxiliary buds they develops from auxiliary buds of stem so earlier i already told you the stem is characterized by presence of nodes internodes auxiliary bud and terminal bud and these horizontal horizontal narrow green prostate branches usually usually they devoid of normal leaves they devoid of normal leaves and these horizontal branches develops from auxiliary buds of the stem and such weak stems these weak stems are called runners and runners usually runners usually contain means the nodes of stems contain adventitious roots and also contain some of the scale leaves leaves are modified into scale like structure such leaves are called scale leaves the nodes of yeah, the nodes of some plants like grasses they contain some of the adventitious roots and they also contain scale leaves but normal leaves are absent on the portion of nodes and these horizontal weak weak stems are called runners and runners they may break off and take part in vegetative propagation and runners due to presence of runners these plants can spread in different types of directions and they are the devices of plants to multiply quickly so such type of weak stems are called runners and runners also take part in vegetative propagation so what are runners they are horizontal green narrow branches usually devoid of normal leaves at their nodes and runners are also differentiated into nodes and internodes and these nodes and internodes and the weak stems also contain auxiliary buds usually runners develop from auxiliary bud these runners also can produce adventitious roots and they also possesses scale leaves they may be break off and the broken part the broken part also become an individual that is nothing but vegetative propagation this is the first subaerial stem modification the second one is stolons 
the second subaerial stem modification is called stolons this is the stem the stem possesses various leaves these are the various leaves and below the stem there are many adventitious roots and stolons usually develops from base of the stem the base of the stem produce many long slender branches and these long slender branches they grow obliquely downwards when they touch the soil when these branches touch the soil at the tip of the stolon this is stolon the tip of the stolon when come in contact with soil they produce adventitious roots and also it become aerial and aerial branch also aerial branch also possesses this aerial branch also possesses leaves and these long slender branches these long slender branches are called stolons what are stolons they are special prostrate branches which are originated from base of the crown or base of the weak stem and these branches these long slender branches grow obliquely downwards obliquely downwards and touch the soil when the tip of the stolon come in contact with soil they produce many adventitious roots and become aerial the aerial branches are also or the stolons also differentiated into nodes and internodes and auxiliary buds produce branches and these branches also produce leaves and these long slender branches are called stolons and stolons they may break off and take part in vegetative process and such type of stem subaerial stem modifications usually they are usually found in jasmine and strawberry in plants like jasmine and strawberry the base of the crown produce some of the long slender branches these long slender branches are called stolons and usually stolons grow obliquely downwards and touch the soil when they touch the soil produce adventitious roots and also become hairy and when these stolons break off and the broken part also becomes an individual so that is nothing but vegetative propagation a stolon is usually present in plants like jasmine and strawberry and third subaerial stem modification third subaerial stem modification is suckers some workers may believe suckers are underground stem modifications and some of them believe they are subaerial stem modifications in plants like in plants like chrysanthemum chrysanthemum is the scientific name of marigold and banana and pineapple plants like chrysanthemum banana and pineapple half of the stem grow below the soil half of the stem grow below the soil and it possesses many adventitious it produces many adventitious roots and half of the stem grow above the half of the stem grow above the soil and it has this portion has leaves nodes auxiliary buds terminal buds all this so all the important structures which are present on stem all are present all are present in the aerial part of the stem and in this condition the underground part of the stem the underground part of the stem produce many long slender branches and these long slender branches usually grow oblique, obliquely upwards and these long slender branches are usually called they are usually called suckers and suckers also produce adventitious roots below the soil and the aerial part is the aerial part of sucker is differentiated into nodes internodes leaves and all these things and such long slender branches are called suckers and suckers they may be green or non green and they may break off and directly take part in vegetative propagation so vegetative propagation again formation of new plants from the vegetative organs of the plant body so half of the stem grow below the soil half of the stem grow above the soil and the underground part of stem produced many long slender branches but these branches grow obliquely upwards and they again produce adventitious roots below the inside the soil and suckers differentiate into nodes and internodes and these nodes and internodes they possesses leaves auxiliary buds and terminal buds 
and these branches may break off and directly take part in vegetative propagation. But some workers believe suckers are underground stem modifications because the underground part of the stem produce or they, they get modified to perform some new functions or they take part in vegetative propagation. So this is the third subaerial stem modification. And last one is offsets. Last subaerial stem modification is called offsets. So offsets in some uh, plants like Acornia, commonly it is known as water hyacinth and pistia. In plants like Acornia and pistia, these are usually hydrophytic plants. Hydrophytic plants means plants of aquatic conditions. Plants of aquatic conditions are called hydrophytes. In, in such plants, the stem is highly reduced to form a disc. Usually stem is aerial, erect, branched or unbranched. But in some hydrophytic plants, the stem is highly reduced to form disc-like structure. And below that disc, there are many adventitious roots. And these adventitious roots usually bear root pockets at their tips. And root pockets usually gives balance to the free floated hydrophytic plants. Below the stem, there are many adventitious roots and above the stem, so if there is a rosette of leaves. So large number of leaves are, they are arranged in a petals of rose. This arrangement is called rosette arrangement. Rosette of leaves means many leaves are arranged in concentric circles. And the auxiliary bud of the stem, the auxiliary bud of the stem produce usually one internodal length one internodal length short slender branches and these short slender branches are called these short slender branches are called offsets and offsets they may break off and take part in vegetative progress these short branches these short slender branches are called offsets offsets may break off and directly take part in vegetative progress these modifications are called offsets. Offsets usually found in plants like Acornia and Pistia. In this modification, the stem is highly reduced to form this. Below the stem, there are rosette of leaves. Above the stem, so above the stem there are rosette of leaves. And below the stem, many advantageous roots. The auxiliary bud of this stem. The auxiliary bud of the, this stem produce a short slender branch. This short slender branch is called offset. Offset take part in vegetative propagation. So these are the four important types of subaerial stem modification. So you should understand that all subaerial stem modifications take part in vegetative propagation.